Hi guys, it's Ksenia. Welcome back to my channel. So if you read the title, then you know this video is going to be for all of my sugary gourmand lovers out there. If you like to smell like a literal walking sugary snack, this is the video for you. I got you guys with all of the most indulgent, delicious products ever. I'm going to be giving you guys recommendations for body washes, lotions, body mists, and perfumes. So we got it all. And the reason why I wanted to do it this way is because you can pretty much layer all of these combinations to literally smell so good and so gourmand. I had to do this video because I know a lot of you guys have the same exact scent taste as I do and as you guys know, I love super gourmand scents whether that be in any form like in body washes, body mist, lotions, perfumes. That's just always like one of my favorite ways to smell like. I always get compliments when I smell like this. A lot of the times I love smelling super sugary and sweet before I go to bed which is kind of weird because I feel like these scents kind of like unwind me and make me feel so cozy cozy and sweet and like freshly baked cookies to go to bed and I love it and my fiance loves it and I feel like for the winter time specifically this is just like the best way to smell because these types of smells just thrive in the colder weather they will literally wrap you up especially if you live in like a really really cold climate this is just the way to go I promise you you will be getting compliments left and right most of the products that I'm showing in here are super affordable from the body washes the lotions the body mists I do have some high-end perfumes but i also have affordable perfumes so if you guys want to know all of my recommendations from body care to perfumes for how to smell super gourmand and delicious then just keep watching by the way before i get this video started i literally get comments like in every single video asking me what lip combo i'm wearing and by the time you guys comment and i look at the comments i'm like shoot i completely forget the combinations so I'm going to tell you guys what I'm wearing today in case you want to know. If you don't, then just skip over this part. But if you want to know, I'm wearing the MAC Soar Lip Liner. And then for lipstick, I topped it off with the Buxom Influencer Full Force Lipstick. So that is my combo today in case you want to know. Let's start off with the base so this is the body wash this is obviously like your first step of your routine so i have four amazing body washes to share with you guys and the first one this is amazing it's the native body wash in the scent sugar cookie so this is a limited edition one that they just brought out for the holidays i think they have like a peppermint one i'm not sure what other ones they have i think it's just the two personally i'm not a huge fan of like peppermint type of smell i don't really like to smell minty like that but this scent right up my alley so sugar cookie basically smells exactly like a sugar cookie i mean this is like as gourmand as gourmand gets like this is so sweet like there's not really much more i can describe about this other than the fact that it smells like a literal sugar cookie it is so good it's so delicious super gourmand the perfect base to like a gourmand routine this is amazing. I highly recommend that you get it now because as I said, it is limited edition. So it's only available right now for the holidays. I picked up two. The next scent is actually a little bit higher end, but at the same time, not really because of where I got it. Any scent from Philosophy, they have come out with so many really good like cookie, sugary, gourmand scents that are so creamy and sweet and indulgent. This one that I came across though, blew me away so these if you actually get them from ulta or like you know those higher end stores i think they go for around like 20 dollars. and this is actually shampoo shower gel and bubble bath so it has a bunch of different uses to it but guys do not go and get this at ulta or anywhere else other than marshall's tj maxx and i don't know if i've seen this at ross i personally got this one at marshall's but definitely go look there because they're going to be half the price they're 10.99 which i know is a little bit up there for a body wash but it's so worth it i promise you and you can do so many things with it but this specific scent i think they have like a christmas cookies they have a bunch of really gourmand scents this is the first one that i have owned but when i saw the name you guys know if you watch my videos anything marshmallow whether it be perfume body mist anything that has marshmallow in it i'm like here's my credit card it has to be mine and this one is crispy marshmallow bars 
Can you just imagine how good this smells? The little description right here is an actual like recipe for how to make crispy marshmallow bars, which is really cute. It smells exactly like marshmallows. It's so sweet and creamy and just ooey gooey marshmallowy scent. I love this. I highly recommend you guys go check out those discount stores for any philosophy scent. Just go and smell them. They have a bunch, but especially if you're into gourmands check these out the next body wash i don't actually have with me because i did finish it already and i threw it away but it is the ogx shea soft and smooth body wash and it literally smells so decadent and creamy and so gourmand and vanilla it's a really 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 amazing body wash but i think tiktok like blew that body wash up so for a while there it was really really hard to find but i have a dupe for you guys that smells very similar to it i feel like and that is the saint ives soothing body wash in oatmeal and shea butter don't be scared by the oatmeal scents i hate scents that are like oatmeal i don't like brown sugary type of scents that's just not my vibe and this one does not smell like oatmeal or anything gross like that this just smells like vanilla super sugary creamy and gourmand and it smells very very similar to that body wash so that's why i wanted to give you like a dupe in case for whatever reason you can't find the other one this is amazing super creamy and sweet and delicious and just smells like vanilla it doesn't really smell like oatmeal and shea butter shea butter maybe a little bit because it does have like that sweet vanilla type smell but oatmeal and the last body wash i have for you is the suave milk and honey this is the most inexpensive body wash that you can get i think it's literally like a dollar and some change it is so good though like how you would think milk and honey that combination it's so creamy coming from that milk but then the honey sweetens it up so good like all the other body washes this is like the perfect base to layer your sugary gourmand scents on top of honestly for all of these the sugary scent from all of them kind of lingers even when you get out of the shower which is why it's so important that right after you get out and that scent is still lingering you go and put your sweeter lotions on top body mist and then perfume you layer those scents so that they can last forever and ever so that's it for the body washes and now we can move on to the lotions so the first lotion this is again a limited edition so i have to let you guys know right now because i don't know if this will be still in stock after the holidays this was out during the holidays last year and then they took it away and they brought it back this holiday season so this is the love beauty and planet takuma butter and vanilla body lotion this is incredible so creamy and indulgent so sweet and delicious kind of has like almost like an almondy nutty scent to it if you like sweet gourmand vanilla scents this is it and it's like just the perfect layering product now another thing that i love about this apart from the smell is how amazing this feels i have a problem with body lotions and how sticky and just how much you can feel them on your body after you put them on this literally you put it on and it sinks in it doesn't feel like you have anything on i have this thing where i have really dry skin and really dry hands but i hate hand cream because i hate the feeling of my hands being greasy like it makes me cringe but I bought this and I put it on my hands to like just test it out. It literally absorbed into my hands like almost immediately. I didn't feel it at all, but I could tell that my hands were super, super soft and silky, but without that feeling of being greasy. And it feels exactly like that on your body as well. So not only is this scent amazing, but it's a really good lotion that's moisturizing and doesn't feel like oily gross greasiness okay the next one this is a little bit lighter this is like if you don't want your lotion to really interfere with whatever scent that you have going on but it's still going to give you like that sweet scent this is like a fairly new lotion and this one is like as moisturizing as it gets from all the ones i'm showing you today this is the vaseline intensive care almond smooth body lotion so this has almond oil in it and because of that not only is it going to be super rich and moisturizing super super moisturizing and thick but again it doesn't feel super gross but the scent this is so good when i first discovered this like a few months back i was like I need to go and get like 50 of those but then i was like i need to chill because this is gonna take me a while to go through like it's huge but this smells really really good it doesn't have as much of like an intense scent but it's still there like it's still a really really sweet almondy sugary scent you could use this if you're using not just a gourmand perfume to layer with like maybe like a sweet scent 
this will go really well with. I wouldn't recommend putting this on if you're going to wear like a fresh perfume because that doesn't really make any sense. Like this will just layer with pretty much any scent that is in the sweet realm, whether it be like sweet fruity or whatever. But especially obviously if you're going to put on like a gourmand scent, this is amazing. And this is for all of you crusty, dusty, dry girls out there like me you guys know i'm an alligator and then the very last lotion i have to show you guys obviously this one i'm pretty sure everybody and their mother knows about but i have to share it in case you don't this is the eos 24 hour moisture body lotion in vanilla cashmere if you guys know the scent of vanilla bean noel from bath and body works this is literally it reincarnated it's like that super vanilla bean vanilla extract almost kind of smell but it's so creamy and sweet it's like extra sugary vanilla sweet it is such an amazing gourmand if you love anything vanilla you will absolutely love this like this is as vanilla as it gets if you love vanilla bean noel this is honestly the same scent but it's even better because as you guys might have realized but they've kind of changed up the formula of vanilla bean noel it's not as strong and intense it doesn't last as much and it's just overall super super weak from what it used to be and this is kind of like what vanilla bean noel used to be so for all of you og lovers of vanilla bean noel you're going to love this it's such a good creamy vanilla scent i can't get enough and that scent has blown up on like tiktok youtube everywhere if you're on the hygiene side of any social media you most likely have seen that body lotion now we can move on to the body mist so i'm so excited to show you guys these pics because these are like the most creamy gourmand body mists ever these body mists just smell like straight up you just baked cookies and like that scent that lingers in the air you will be literally walking baked cookie baked goods you will just smell like dessert so i have three from bath and body works i have one from body fantasy that i'm really excited to show you guys and i have one from sol de janeiro so the first one that i'm going to show you is from sol de janeiro this is brazilian crush cherosa 71 this i don't even understand how to put this into words i think out of everything that i'm going to show you guys today this is as gourmand as anything gets like out of everything that i have here this doesn't even smell like a product this smells like i straight up have a jar of the sweetest warm freshly baked sugar cookies ever this smells so like it doesn't even smell like a body care product it straight up smells like a dessert this is caramelized vanilla and macadamia and also what's even better about it is that it's a hair and body fragrance so you will literally smell from head to toe like this stuff it's so good and it lasts forever on the skin for a body spray especially because you know body sprays are kind of weak like they're meant to be kind of layered with but this one you could wear this on its own and it'll do the job you will smell like it all day i put this on so many times to go to bed and the next day when i wake up i'm literally like did somebody like bake cookies because my room is like filled with this sweet indulgent dessert scent it's so it's so good if you love gourmands like truly you are like a gourmand lover and you don't have this scent you need it it's like 20 bucks so i mean for a body mist is it expensive yeah it's not the cheapest thing out there but this is so worth it and then i want to show you guys a body fantasy scent so people were going crazy when this first came out this is cupcake swirl when i first saw this i screamed i actually first saw this from queen naima i think she was like one of the first people to really talk about this product and she made me want to run out and buy this and at first it wasn't available for a while i finally found it at a walmart that's kind of like near me this could probably be a dupe for that sherosa 71 it's like in the same realm it's very very sweet the notes that are listed in here are buttercream butter cookie accord vanilla and musk this is exactly that this really smells like a cupcake literally just smells like that really doughy cookie dough kind of smell there is kind of like this spice to it as well it's kind of like a really good mixture of buttercream frosting and then the base of a cupcake basically a cupcake like i just described the layers of a cupcake if you can get your hands on this definitely check it out i think it's like three bucks super inexpensive and it's like a huge bottle if you can find this in your local walmart's definitely pick it up you will not regret it if you love gourmands. okay then a scent that i've been wearing a lot lately now this scent is 
retired kind of you can't really find this in bath and body works like right now but i'm sure a lot of you guys probably have this in your collection maybe you probably picked it up during the semi-annual sale that they had during the summertime but this is coconut cream pie now if you really want this you could probably find it on like mercari and stuff like that so as with all like retired scents you could pretty much always find them but i've been wearing this so much and i've been pairing it up with my creamy gourmand perfumes and it's like the perfect layering body mist if i want to smell super sweet for a coconut cream pie this has coconut in it but it smells like a coconut cream pie it's not like tropical coconut it's like edible foodie coconut it has fragrance notes of toasted coconut flakes caramel custard and golden pie crust how delicious does that sound the description says let the aroma of an indulgent sweet treat take you away to the bake shop of your dreams it's like that cookie scent but with a hint of like a creamy coconut if you don't like coconut which i really don't especially the tropical kind of coconut i used to be so into it back in the day that now i'm just so sick of it but this does not smell like that this is just super super foody and it just smells like literal food gourmand and then another one that i hope you guys stocked up on this scent because again they don't make this anymore this is raspberry jam donut i know that this was a lot of people's favorites a lot of people also had some beef with it honestly i was kind of like one of those people that had a little bit of beef in the beginning with this scent because i was like i don't want to smell like a donut like who wants to smell like a donut and then i went and smelled it the first time i ever smelled it i didn't like it i was like oh like this smells too much like a donut and then i went back and smelled it and I kind of just let it marinate on my skin. This is incredible. This literally smells like a raspberry filled jam donut. Like the name is so spot on to this, but in a way that is really wearable. This has fragrance notes of wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar, and warm fluffy donut. That's literally what this smells like. I don't know how they did this. But they did this like this is probably one of the best gourmand scents that bath and body works has ever made literally people during the semi-annual sale were stocking up on this like people were getting like six seven of these like when i was in the stores i would see people like literally stock up on this if you love raspberry you will love this because it kind of opens up with that like bright raspberry scent but more of like a raspberry jam as opposed to just super airy fruity and fresh this is not fresh at all this is so creamy indulgent delicious i feel like i'm saying that for all of them but that's what all of them are this is really good if you're gonna layer it with a gourmand scent that has maybe a little bit of fruitiness to it to kind of bring out the raspberry that's in here not only will you smell gourmand and food like like dessert like but you'll also have that like sweetness coming from like those bright sugary fruits amazing combo and then the last body mist i have to show you guys this is joy sugared snickerdoodle this is kind of in the same realm as christmas cookies and merry cookie from bath and body works it's like that really really foodie gourmand freshly baked cookie scent this one is again very similar to that cheryl 71 it literally smells like a freshly baked sugared caramelized cookie this has notes of snickerdoodle spice creamy vanilla and sugared musk it does have like this hint of spice to it it almost kind of smells like whipped cream to me like fluffy marshmallows it's a really really fluffy warm delicious edible scent and that's actually a scent that you can actually go right now to bath and body works and pick up because it's part of their holiday collection so definitely go pick it up before all the holiday stuff is gone okay so now we have made it to the last and final step of your routine which is going to be your perfume so obviously once you're done with the body wash the lotion the body mist then your last step is going to be to top it off with a delicious perfume this is obviously going to be the strongest scent of your entire routine but everything kind of helps everything stay on longer and just the scent to be even better so it's really important to layer but obviously the perfume is probably the most important step in all of this routine and i have here to show you guys five perfumes one of them is actually a perfume oil that i've never mentioned i'm gonna start off from the most expensive and i'm gonna work my way down so the first one i have is jean paul gaultier scandal i could not do this video without including this perfume because this is a really good gourmand scent this is a honey bomb literally this does have a bunch of other notes which i'm gonna share with you guys in a minute but the only thing when you smell when you smell this scent is honey if anybody whether you know about perfumes or not were to smell this scent 
you'd be like oh my god that perfume smells like honey because there's nothing really else you can really pick up on this now this is like a two spray and done kind of a fragrance because this is just one of those insane projecting perfumes that once you spray this you will fill up the entire room with just literally one tiny little spray you cannot go ham you can go ham with your body sprays and lotions and all of that but with this keep it two sprays and put it down it's just one of those perfumes that you cannot overdo otherwise you're gonna go from really good to like you're gonna give yourself a headache throughout the day because the scent is gonna be way too strong but this is a really complimented scent i used to wear this to work all the time and i used to get so many compliments from customers always stopping me and being like it smells so good even people that like didn't know what the smell was coming from and I was like, I know that it's me because I could just smell it. Like, even you can smell it. Sometimes being the person that has the perfume, you don't always smell it. You kind of become nose blind to it after a while. But with this scent, you never become nose blind to this. Even if you do, like, just the minimal, like, two sprays, you will never go nose blind with this one. You will always smell it on you, which is really, really good. This has top notes of blood orange, mandarin orange, middle notes of honey, gardenia, orange blossom, jasmine, and peach, and base notes of beeswax, caramel, patchouli, and liquor. Obviously, there's a ton of other notes. You have citrus in the opening, which is really weird. I don't get that at all. There's some florals like gardenia, which I hate. I hate gardenia. It's my least favorite floral. I do like orange blossom. It's a little bit sweet. I love jasmine. There's a lot going on. Like you have citrus fruits, you have florals, like you have a little bit of everything, and then you have the gourmand scents. But really, all you're going to smell out of this is just the gourmand scents. Mostly, more than anything, just that honey and like a little hint of caramel, but honey if you want to smell like honey this is a perfume for you and guaranteed compliments from everybody just be careful not to over okay, and then on the same realm this is very similar to that scent but i know that some people have told me that this is too much for them and way too strong if you want something a little bit lighter with that same sort of honey and caramel except this scent that i'm going to show you guys has a little bit more of that caramel in it as well to balance out the honey it's more so gourmand more caramelly and a little bit creamier than scandal and that is jimmy choo illicit i found this for like 40 bucks at tj maxx and it is amazing it's very creamy and gourmand and this has like an equal amount of honey and caramel to where you can't really detect either and they smell very similar in here but this is basically like the toned down version of this they both last insanely long this one doesn't project as much as this. <laughs> I don't think many things project as much as this. This is probably one of the heaviest perfumes that I have in my collection. This one's a little bit lighter. This has fragrance notes of ginger, bitter orange, middle notes of jasmine, sandback, orange blossom, and rose, and base notes of honey, amber, caramel, sandalwood, vanilla, and cashmere wood. They honestly have very similar notes, starting off with like the citrus notes and the ginger. This one, you kind of do get the citrus notes when you first spray this out they do die down once the caramel and the honey notes kind of hit in the base and then you do kind of get like this sort of spicy feel throughout this entire scent from that ginger not really any florals detected in this at least by me but more than anything honey amber caramel hint of sandalwood and vanilla is what you're going to get out of this scent i love this like from the moment that i bought this i was obsessed the perfect scent to top off your gourmand um routine so, i don't think anybody will be surprised by this next scent so this i have talked so much about this is the skylar vanilla sky this is the original vanilla sky this is before skylar rebranded their perfumes used to all be eau de toilettes and as we all know eau de toilettes are not going to be the strongest scents are not going to last the most they're not going to project the most it's overall just the lighter version of the eau de parfum but now they have made all of their scents eau de parfums so if you were one of those people that maybe you bought this and you didn't find that it lasts on you which for me i never had a problem with the scent lasting but in case you were one of those people then now you have this in an eau de parfum version which lasts even longer and guys the scent i mean i've already talked about this so much so if you watch my channel you know what i'm about to say but this one smells so delicious this is one of those perfumes that you smell and just instantly 
makes you like it just puts you in a good mood i don't know how to describe it but that's always been the case whenever i open this i just get like transported somewhere else i've kind of described this before as being like you just walked into like a cafe but it's like a cafe slash dessert shop so you get like the scent of both like this coffee sweet scent and also like the bake shop dessert kind of foody smell that's exactly what this smells like this does have a scent note of cappuccino in it which is why i'm talking about the whole coffee scent but i'm not a person that likes bitter coffee type of scents or like super intense coffee and this one obviously doesn't have actual coffee in it it's cappuccino so it's a lot more died down and obviously cappuccino to begin with is like a sweeter coffee scent i'm the type of person where like my coffee drinks have to be like 90% creamer, 10% coffee. I'm not a real coffee drinker. I'm just like, I like the taste of it, but I don't like the effects that it gives me. It makes me literally like super jittery and anxious. It always just has to be super sweet. Like when my fiance tastes my coffee drinks, he's like, this is literally hot chocolate. Like how dare you even call this coffee? But anyway, this is for the sweet coffee lovers out there. Okay, like you don't like bitter coffee. This is top notes of cappuccino, sweet orange, and bergamot, middle notes of vanilla, cinnamon, Spanish jasmine, and base notes of caramel caramel, sandalwood, cedar, and amber. The top notes that I smell in here is cappuccino, vanilla, and caramel, and really nothing else. No florals. I know it opens up with like the citrus, maybe because it's like a little bright in the opening, but I don't smell like any like actual citrus scents in here. It's just like a little bright when you spray it, but then it gets creamier and more dense as it starts to dry down, and just so good and foodie gourmand. I love this. And then the last two scents are my most affordable ones. So I had to mention this one. This is like 20 bucks. You can get this at Target. This is the Soli Notes Vanille perfume or vanille. I don't know. This is really good. I talked about this in my Target video that I did where I showed a bunch of perfumes that I had bought from Target. And I told you guys I used to work at Target. I used to always put this on when I was at work. So it kind of became like my work scent which is not really good because i always associate scents to places and it always reminded me of work but i feel like i mean i've been out of that job for a while so now when i smell it it just smells really good to me i don't really smell that anymore which is good but this is like as vanilla as vanilla gets if i could describe this it would be vanilla extract but make it a perfume that's literally this go to the store or maybe in your cupboards if you have vanilla extract and you smell vanilla extract that's what this smells like like just straight up vanilla extract it is a very gourmand vanilla though no florals whatsoever this literally has one note and it's vanilla so that should tell you enough and then the last scent this is a fragrance oil so it's not an actual perfume i've never mentioned this but this is vanilla musk from nimat i think that's how you say it this is like 18 dollars, and i know this is super tiny but the thing with fragranced oils is you put this on and it lasts forever because it's an oil it's a lot thicker the more oil a perfume has the stronger it's going to be and this is literally just the oil of the perfume so it's super concentrated so that's why it's super super tiny and this is so good this actually blew up on tiktok i think like five or so months ago and people were literally going insane for this stuff like it was everywhere and you can actually find this at ulta the description of this on ulta it says the vanilla musk fragrance oil from nima is a sweet gourmand scent which lingers on throughout the day one drop goes a long way. This fragrance can be described as sweet and enticing with vanilla as the central note supported by musky notes. Maybe like a hint of musky I can smell, but it's more so like a vanilla scent. Like this kind of smells like vanilla ice cream, literally like vanilla ice cream. So it's really good and super concentrated. So all you need is just to kind of rub it on your neck, rub it on like your pressure points and so that is it for this entire video i hope you guys enjoyed this i basically gave you like a whole routine for how to smell like a snack let me know your favorite gourmand scents as per usual please subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye